Today, I'm showing you all the tips and hacks to get juicy, tender chicken breasts cooked right up in your air fryer. No one likes dry, stringy chicken. Am I right or am I right? I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to ensure you get the chicken cooked right every single time. Yay! If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kathy. I'm a mother of eight kids, and every week I share Instant Pot or air fryer recipes that are super easy, because that's what I need. And these air fryer chicken breasts shine on their own, or they work great as a protein for your tossed salad or a mix-in for your favorite pasta and sauce. Are you ready? Let's go. Hack number one for juicy, tender chicken breasts. First, you're gonna wanna pound down the thicker end of each chicken breast. This is gonna ensure your chicken cooks evenly so it's the same thickness throughout. Next, pat down your chicken with a paper towel, and then we're gonna spray the chicken with some oil. Now, I like to use avocado oil in this spray bottle. You need to know that it's not good to use the regular Pam spray in your air fryer. It has propellants that could ruin your air fryer. If you haven't seen my air fryer 101 video yet, you'll wanna check that out after you're done watching this video. Next, it's time to season your chicken breasts. Use any dry rub or your favorite chicken seasoning. Today, I'm using a simple seasoning mix with one teaspoon of salt, three quarter teaspoons of garlic powder, three quarter teaspoons of onion powder, a half teaspoon of dried parsley, and a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Give it a little stir, and then you're gonna sprinkle it all over your chicken and just massage it in. Then just place your chicken right in the air fryer basket. Now, since we've already put oil on the chicken, we don't need to spray our basket. You'll just wanna make sure you place them in a single layer and your chicken's not overlapping. This cooks so quickly, so if you can't fit it all in, it's okay, you can cook this in batches. And today I'm gonna cook my chicken at 380 for eight to 10 minutes. Now here's the important hack number two. If you don't do this, you can easily overcook your chicken, which results in dry, stringy chicken. In order to keep this from happening, use an instant read digital meat thermometer. Now you've seen these probably, they're cheap, but these are pretty cheap too. You can usually get them for around 20 bucks and they will tell you the temperature of the meat immediately. This is very important because each air fryer cooks slightly differently and the size and thickness of your chicken is going to vary with each meal. This means your cooking time won't always be the same. That's why the instant rate thermometer is so important. Stop the air fryer after four minutes, then flip your chicken and you're gonna cook it another four minutes. We all know that the safe internal temperature is 165 degrees, right? However, here is hack number three. Pull the chicken out of the air fryer when it's 10 degrees undercooked, yes, undercooked. Then put your chicken on a plate and immediately cover it tightly with foil. You're gonna let it rest for five to 10 minutes. And this is because the chicken will continue to cook and reach that 165 degrees. And you are good to go. Moist, beautiful, yummy, juicy chicken. Yes, it's possible and so easy in the air fryer. If you would like more air fryer chicken recipes, I've got those linked right here. I've got some air fryer desserts right here. And I wanna know how it turns out for you. Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know how it goes. And I'll see you next time.